up everyone? Mike here, and HOLY FUCKBALL SMASH INFO UP THE ASS! So, Nintendo had their most recent Direct, and it was all about Smash. Pretty much what this segment made clear is that the Wii U version is definitely going to be the go-to version if you're looking for a complete package. Which works out for me since that's the version I was planning on getting anyway since I didn't want to risk destroying my 3DS with the handheld version. I mean, more game modes, possibly better online, more unlockables, more stages, stage editor? It's fucking nuts! There are a few major reveals that I really wanted to touch base on. First up, 8 8 player Smash Battles! Jesus tit fucking Christ! Nintendo is really hammering the idea home that this is a party game franchise, and this is a perfect example of that. 8 player fights are sure to be insanely chaotic, even if they likely won't be utilized that often. The only problem is that it's only available offline, there is no online option for this mode. Which kinda makes sense when you think about the online issues that the 3DS version has when playing with more than two people at the same time. Imagine a slowdown to eight people would break. Ugh. But still, it looks stupidly fun at the same time, and it'll have its own super side stages to compensate for the increased number of bodies on the playfield, which is awesome. The other thing I wanted to touch base on is FUCKING Mewtwo IS BACK! Except this DLC. Yeah, Nintendo is making him a DLC character set for 2015, but there's also a catch for him. He's going to be quote-unquote free for those who pick up both the 3DS and the Wii U versions of the game, and register them both on Club Nintendo. I mean, I imagine that he'll be purchasable separately, but this is still an obvious ploy to get people to buy both versions of the game. I'm not saying that it isn't going to work, mind you, because it clearly is. I'm just calling it what it is. On the upside, though, this does mean that Nintendo is fully supporting DLC for the game, which could mean a lot of things. Specifically, new characters, new modes, a bunch of other cool stuff. We're already getting promised post-launch content, such as the tournament mode, which will likely be patched in later for free, and we might even get more cool stuff as time goes on. I mean, we could potentially see Bayonetta as a DLC character, especially since she's essentially a Nintendo character now. How hype would that fucking be? So, I'm pretty fucking jacked for the Wii U version, since it's the one I've been waiting all this time. Mewtwo I'll probably just buy separately, and the new modes are liking to be looking to be silly fun, just what the game is meant to be. I'll more than likely have some material relating to it once the game launches, so stay tuned for that. Let me know what you all think about this in the comments. Stay hyped, folks.